Hello and welcome back to Necropon Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a peek at the new 9 million worldwide grimoire to see what that's all about and my approach for it. There's even some polls at the end, so please send some luck my way. Before we start, please give this video a like or even a subscribe for more Sinnoh Alice content in the future. The 9 million worldwide downloads part 1 grimoire is available for just one day for part 1 and then we will also be getting parts 2 and 3. Every SR you get in this grimoire is guaranteed to be a class unlock. They have every class released so far in here from launch until March of this year. The only classes they left out were the collaboration ones like Ray Zero or Slime, Near, and the seasonal ones like Christmas and New Year's I believe. Um, and then also the active reality ones are also left out, which is rather still a large list of characters that you can get. This is the part one banner and where there's only rate up on these three classes. So it is the Minstrel Snow White, it is Paladin Sleeping Beauty and Cleric Dorothy. I only have the Paladin, so I'm pretty tempted to roll. Part two will be Cinderella Minstrel, Three Little Pigs Cleric, Genner Red Riding Hood and Crusher Kagia which I'm also very <laughs> tempted to roll because I only have the Cleric. And then part three will be Breaker Pinocchio, Paladin Gretel, Minstrel Alice, and Crusher Little Mermaid. In this one, I really just want the Little Mermaid Crusher on my home screen. But what I really want to point out is that for these banners, they are using a different metal for it. So be very careful when you're spending your Twilight Crystals split across normal grimoires, Rosen Maiden ones, and also the 9 million worldwide grimoires. You don't want to end up in a place where your metals are not in a usable number, like, you know, multiples of 500 for each exchange. They're really splitting up our Twilight Crystals this time, so let's stay aware of those totals. In my opinion though, the most important part about these banners are not really the classes because most of the classes are already in the general pool, but rather what I want to bring attention to are the Arcanas. Arcanas are generally pretty rare to come by and hold a lot of stats that you can easily miss out on. Very often, Arcanas are only available when the class is first released on a banner or when you pull on a class on a random banner, then the Arcanas are not available at the same time. So what I want to do is go through each of these Arcanas for myself and see which ones I really want to get before pooling. So for instance, this one is HP, which I don't really need as a sorcerer. I already know I have so many of these classes that I want, I'm going to pull anyway, but I want to make sure I look through each of these arcanas to see um, which ones I really want to get, prioritizing magic attack and then P attack or M def, and then finally P def for last for me personally. So I suggest anyone that's thinking about pulling on these banners to kind of pull back and consider the arcanas. So after looking at all of these, it does look like there are a ton that I want in here. So let's do some rolls. I'm only going to be doing two 11 rolls today because I do want to save up for the other parts. So please wish me luck. Okay, here we go. I don't have that many crystals to begin with. This is literally all I have <laughs> that, I'm, that I've farmed from the Rosen Maiden event so far. So let's hope we get something good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Break? No, no break. Oh my God, there's only two. Three maybe? Oh no, they didn't even give me an extra one. Okay, this doesn't look good already. Oh, come on, please. This is what I get for pulling on like a non-step banner. Yeah, I, I, I don't like this already. Okay, let's try again. Come on, last one. Please wish me luck. Alrighty, here we go. Maybe if I pull from up here. Huh? No, no. <laughs> oh, but look, there's already more white books in here. Okay, now we have five, so that's way better than the last pool. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a class or two, please. And open. Eh, come on, come on. No? Just give me one? Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. We're gonna pull on part two and part three and really what I'm going for is just trying to get Arcanas. If I only even get one, I'll be pretty happy because that's still a lot of stats for me and I'm pretty happy with that. 
So, good luck to anyone that decides to roll on this. Obviously, this is like lower priority than the Rosen Maiden ones because those give way more stats than this. Um, and those are limited, completely limited. Don't roll on this if you're still working on that. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, and don't forget the Royal Creator Support Program is still running. So if you want to win 100 Twilight Crystals, you can do that by clicking on the link in the pinned comment or the description below. My secret keyword is involved carrot, I-N-V-O-L-V-E-D-C-A-R-R-O-T. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you all next time. Bye.